A very good evening to you. Welcome to the West Ham Voice. So, West Ham United 1, Crystal Palace 1. Um, a game where perhaps we conceded two points. Uh, I'm looking at the game. I've, sp- I've spoken to you know friends who are at the game, etc. And I've, I'm a bit worried because I'm not so sure what I was watching compared to others. Because I walked away feeling a little bit disappointed that we didn't win the game. Uh, And many others said it was much of the same as the last few games. And I kept thinking to myself, I'm not so sure if that's the case. So the last few games, Nottingham Forest, Burnley, um, TSC, were pretty turgid affairs. And ironically, we won all of those. And yet I thought uh, against against, uh, Crystal Palace today that we actually played reasonably well. I thought it was a bit of a, you know, edge of your seat kind of game. Uh, I think we had the better of the first half. We scored the goal that I think we deserved. Absolutely superb build up and great goal by, um, started by and finished by Mohamed Kudus. I thought it was absolutely superb. And then we, we you know, people say we kind of sat back a little bit and, uh, and allowed pressure. But for me, the first half was very much us. Uh, I, I think we were maybe, if anything, disappointed not to have gone into the um, end of the first half without being uh, more than one goal up. Um, so it was, uh, for me, I think the first half was very good. I think it was an entertaining first half. I think we did really well. We were really at them. We looked lively. The movement that we had throughout the first half, I think, was was spot on. Uh, a lot of the stuff that we, you know, we keep saying that we want to see some flair football, some good passing and movement, etc. I think was good. It was great to see a number of players back, uh, considering we weren't sure whether they would make it back. So Sufau, after having a bug, uh, was back in the side. Uh, Alvarez uh, having a bug was back in the side although he wasn't probably at his best today but uh, it was good to have him back in the team Jared Bowen after his injury he obviously passed his late fitness test he wasn't at his best but let's not forget again um, he you know he's only just come back from injury although albeit a minor injury and then Mohamed Kudus who clearly was our best player uh, in the game today uh, was just imperious he was just superb the way he picks up the ball the way the ball sticks to his feet uh, the way he sort of tries to beat players tries to make something happen all the time what was just uh, fantastic and I you know and I think he fully deserved his goal uh, for us so the first half I was pretty happy with I thought that the lineup was good Uh, you know you look at that that's probably our best first 11 um, to be really honest with you and I do mean our best first 11 even though Antonio's uh, out injured I think but the the, the problem is is of course Jared Bowen um, sometimes blows a bit hot and cold as a striker but I'm going to put it down to more the fact that uh, it's because he's only just come back from his injury maybe he wasn't uh, 100% fit um, rather than Jared Bowen not being able to play that role uh, so first half I thought was good team selection pretty obvious um, and I was happy with it and uh, we were on the ascendancy we were on the up and then of course in the second half uh, we go into the second half and we keep making sloppy mistakes at the back now Zuma apparently was not in the team because of a private uh, family matter so he's not available and this is where you would have expected um, Dinos Mavropanos to really stamp his authority uh, on the game and really stake a claim in uh, the first team lineup. And it was his error, the, the, the short ball, that, uh, the, the misplaced pass uh, that led to uh, Crystal Palace getting back into the game. You could see, uh, you know, he was, uh, uh, you know, upset with himself. For some odd reason, they actually put his face up on the screen after Crystal Palace scored. Well, how cruel is that? Uh, but you could see he was upset. Now, other than that, I think uh, our defence did reasonably well. I don't think they had really much to concern themselves with. But we keep making mistakes in defence or, you know, in, in, in our game, which uh, leads to uh, a goal. And it happened again today. 
And then I think that gave Crystal Palace the, the, the ascendancy. I think they kind of thought, OK, we're back in this. And they, they would have been more than happy to have gone away from today with uh, a 1-1 draw. And that's exactly what they got. I think they came uh, expect, uh, you know, trying to uh, nullify us and they kind of succeeded. And uh, they got away with a 1-1 draw. But I think we allowed them to because in the second half, even though I still think it was a little bit box to box, there weren't a lot of cr uh, chances created. Of course, uh, right at the death, we thought maybe Suchek might have scored that header in order to get yet another late goal, but that wasn't to be. Um, so I think uh, Palace would have walked away much happier uh, with a 1 1 draw than, than we did. But it was a box to box game. It wasn't anything in that game that would have suggested that I think we played badly. But a lot of people said we, we scored the goal and we sat back. And I'm not. I'm not so sure. I think um, there have been times when Moyes has uh, sat the team back, but I think in this game, I don't think that was the, that was the case. But, you know, you tell me, you give me your views and you tell me what you think. Um, second half was, we, I don't think we were at it as much as we were in the first half. I think um, Crystal Palace kind of matched us uh, much more than they did in, in the first half. And it was a game where it was a little bit box to box, but not a lot of clear cut chances created. Look, um, Moyes could have changed it. I think maybe, you know, if he's going to change it to uh, make a difference, uh, he should have brought a substitute on maybe a bit sooner rather than yet again the 80, what, fifth minute or whatever it is. Because, I'm, you know, in interestingly, for now, it's looked a little bit lively. But I would have put Corne on. I talked about Corne uh, the other day, especially in the game uh, against uh, TSC when he came on. And I think he made a difference with regards to his pace. And that's one thing that we still lack especially in the latter stages of a game, the one thing that you want is to bring a substitute on that will have a bit of pace about him, you know, so in order to affect the game. And I think, with the greatest of respect to Fournells, I think that was the wrong sub to make. I think uh, uh, Corne should have come on because if Corne came on, then you could have uh, either pushed um, uh, Bowen or uh, uh, in, into the middle again. Um, I, I see Kudus went out on the right and that's not his... I mean, even though he did reasonably well, he doesn't play out on the right. Uh, sorry, on the left, my, my mistake. Uh, he doesn't play well on the left. You know, he's much more effective when he's out on the, on, on the right-hand side. You know, and you could have brought Corne on in order to sort of mix it about a bit. I don't think Paqueta going in as a, number, uh, a false number nine really, really worked. Um, so Corne could have been um, a decent alternative. As for uh, uh, Paqueta, you get a little bit frustrated with uh, Lucas Paqueta because you know he can be a genius on the ball and he can sort of like create stuff, you know, out of nothing. But at the same time, these theatrics that uh, he keep, keeps going down and keeps looking for fouls, etc., I'm beginning to become a little bit uh, frustrating, to be quite honest with you. I wish he didn't do it. I wish he would sort of stayed on his feet. All right, if you get fouled, you get fouled and you pick yourself up. If you're not being given the free kick, get up and move. But he, he seems to go down and stay down and it and it's a little bit discon disconcerting. Um, and ironically, I know you're not going to like it, but um, if I was going to make a substitution, um, it would have been p perhaps to take Paqueta off and maybe put Mbama on uh, uh, as a striker, you know, uh, to sort of you know be, be on the end of balls coming in. Because I think we were at them. I think we were at Crystal Palace. I don't think we created enough clear-cut chances, but I think we sort of, we weren't resting on our laurels. We certainly didn't want to have to walk away with a 1-1. I think uh, we thought potentially that we could win it. And I think we were just a bit unfortunate. But David Moyes, make the changes sooner. What, why wait? You know... But here's another irony. I was looking at the team and thinking, well, who are you going to sub? Because no one was having an extremely bad game. And it was obvious that, you know, if in order to push on, Alvarez was going to be the obvious substitution. Like I said earlier, he didn't have the best of games. Yeah, coming back, you know, he had a virus. You know, he wasn't probably 100%, but it gives his all, doesn't he? But uh, why not have made that substitution, I don't know, on the 75th minute or the 70th minute? Why wait till the 80, whatever, fifth minute? I think that was a, a little bit wrong of Moyes and that's uh, a frustration a lot of fans have. So, in summary, I think the team selection, a given. I think uh, that is probably our best 11. I think we were really good in the first half. I think we were at it and we deserved a 1-0 lead. I think in the second half, you know, that error 
gave them, uh, you know, a, a, a bit of an opportunity to get back into the game. Well, not a bit of an opportunity. They did get back into the game to draw 1-1. And they were happy with that. Uh, but we should have maybe have gone for it. I think they were there for the taking Crystal Palace and maybe a couple of positive substitutions a bit earlier on might have given us the points that uh, we were looking, the, the three points that we were looking for rather than sort of going away with, with a 1-1 draw. But overall, it was a bit sort of box to box. Um, and I think um, it was a much better performance, certainly a much better performance from the ones that we've had recently. Uh, where many fans, and rightly so, have been saying that the performances have been turgid. I think this was better, but there's still a lot to do. David Moyes still doesn't want to make substitutions uh, early enough, which can be a little bit frustrating. But uh, do we accept that? All right, we take the point, we move on. But uh, maybe it was two points dropped in this game.